this conversation is completely and utterly about the fact that I am sick right now and very far away from those who love me enough to take care of me. Because it is between myself and someone else, I have to have a way to show you guys who I am at each moment. So when I'm myself, I will look like this. And when I'm my friend, I will look like this. My friend's name, by the way, is Mary, and she's pretty much a goddess. And yes, this is how Mary looks on a regular everyday basis. Thing on her head, thing on her head. What do you need to feel better? And is there any way for me to deliver it electronically? Comfort food and uninterrupted sleep. <laughs> Both need to be given in person. Damn. I'm working on it, but a peanut butter sandwich is poor comfort food and the light is on. Where is a teleportation device when you need one? If only we lived in an alternate universe. Stupid sci-fi showing us things we can't have. Yet. Let's alternate this one. And how do you propose we do that? Tesseracts? Pardon? Wormholes. Sort of. Or radiation! Ah. And we get the supplies to make this happen. Radiation always alternates the universe in comics. At the power plant, of course. Because there are so many of those lying around. <laughs> the power plant, which doubles as the workshop of a questionably moral scientist. I don't like to use the word evil. <laughs> There's a power plant on the way to Kirksville. He's very convenient, that questionably moral scientist. Hell yes. Only that we're on the way to here. Maybe there's another one. Springfield water tastes extremely weird. That could be due to a power plant. Oh yes, definitely. I also like to tell myself that the weird water is the reason I'm sick, which is also fitting to this theory. Let's develop our sense of taste and follow the water supply to the power plant where we can confront the questionably moral scientists and steal his teleportation devices before they're finished. Why would we want them before they're finished? We would also have to steal the supplies and the plants. It's dangerous, but workable. True. Or we could just steal the whole scientist. Then we would have a questionably moral slave. Moral slaves are such downers anyway. But we would have to deal with the possibility of him escaping and becoming our arch nemesis. Oh, seriously, no risk, no fun. We could drug him or control him with sexual favors. That would be cheaper. And everyone knows that the main weakness of questionably moral scientists is sex. I don't know, questionably moral scientists tend to have questionable sexualities as well. We might end up having to kidnap a hot, stupid man to provide the favors. We could enslave some boys. Maybe Evan would participate? Probably. Jordan might donate Tony. And I wouldn't mind kidnapping a hot, stupid man in the first place. Very probably would. Especially if we promise to cover her as far as need of sex goes. This is turning out like Rocky Horror if Brad and Janet were awesome like us. Seriously, that movie would have been so much better if they'd been less whiny and more hot girls who are badass. Um, yes. But sometimes you need whiners to show how awesome the main characters are. We would end up very rich in this scenario. So many slaves. True. But as we're the main characters, everyone else can be whiny. I've always kind of wanted a slave. In a sick way. Right? Especially a sex slave. Mmm. Slash super smart scientist slave. Sex slaves. Mary doesn't really look anything like that. She's a tiny, adorable person with really big eyes and curly brown short hair. 